Welcome to One My Black History. I'm your host, Country Boy. And today's episode is about Hollywood versus black history. And in particular, we're talking about the Netflix movie, The Harder They Fall, which assembles a cast of black actors to play legendary Western figures from across time to tell a fictional story about two rival groups, the They Love Gang and the Rufus Buck Gang. Now, while The Harder They Fall tells a fictional story that, that departs from actual historical events, the characters are real people. And we're going to talk about today the real people behind the characters in The Harder They Fall. And if this is the type of content that you like, please hit the subscribe button. Also, you can find more content like this at OneMikeHistory.com. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so at my Patreon page in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. Bill Pickett is played by Eddie Gathicke. The real Bill Pickett was not a sharpshooter like the movie character. The real Pickett was a cowboy, a Wild West performer, an actor, and perhaps the most famous black rodeo rider of the 20th century. Bill Pickett's actual birth year is unknown. Bill was the second of 13 children born to Thomas Jefferson Pickett, a former slave, and Mary Gilbert. Bill was of African, white, and Cherokee ancestry. His family lived in an area of Texas known as Jinx Branch Community, and the land was settled by a man named Miller who opened up the land to other African Americans shortly after the Civil War. Bill attended the school up until the fifth grade and afterwards got a job on a ranch where he became a writer and a ranch hand. In 1888, his family moved to Taylor, Texas, and Pickett and his brothers started their own horse breaking and cowboy services. The company was known as Pickett Brothers Bronco Busting and Rough Rider Association, and the advertisements promised the catching and taming of wild cattle was their specialty. In 1890, Bill Pickett got married to Maggie Turner, a former slave and the daughter of a white southern plantation owner, and the couple went on to have nine children. Bill Pickett would perform at local rodeos and was known for doing tricks and stunts at county fairs. Bill Pickett's name soon became synonymous with successful rodeos. Bill Pickett with a group traveled from Texas to Arizona to Wyoming to Oklahoma. Bill Pickett invented a rodeo technique known as bulldogging, the skill of grabbing a cattle by his horns and wrestling to the ground. He developed his method based on trained bulldogs who would sometimes be used to help steer away runaway cattle. The dogs would use their teeth to clamp down on the steer's upper lip, a very sensitive area for the cattle. And once the dog snapped down on the steer's lip, the steer wouldn't move. Bill Pickett seen this happen on several occasions and thought, if a bulldog could do it, he could too. Bill practiced this stunt by riding hard, springing from his horse, wrestling the steer to the ground, and in his method for bulldog, he would bite down on the cow's lip and fall backwards. He would also go on to help teach other cowboys the technique of bulldogging, but this method would eventually fall out of favor as the sport morphed into steer wrestling in rodeos. In 1905, Pickett joined the 101 Ranch Western Show that features the likes of Cherokee Bill. Bill, Will Rogers, Tom Mix, Lee Hall Gray, and Zach and Lucille Mulhall. He performed under the stage name The Dusky Demon, and Bill Pickett was a famous performer who toured all over the world. But because he was black, he was unable to appear in some places. He often was forced to claim that he was of Comanche heritage just so he could perform, and many times he was still banned. In one of his most famous incidents in 1908, while in Mexico City, Pickett wrestled a Mexican fighting bull for a grueling seven minutes before a riotous crowd in his interpretation of bullfighting. In the early 20th century, Pickett also was the first Hollywood black cowboy. He worked with the all black production company, the Richard E. Norman Studios, starring in The Crimson Skull in 1921 and The Bulldogger in 1922. After World War I ended, Americans' fascination with Wild West shows faded and the 101 Ranch show closed in 1931. In 1932, Bill Pickett was kicked in the head by a Bronco and after a multi-day coma, he died from injuries sustained from his accident. He was buried near a 14-foot stone monument in Monument Hill in Clay County, Oklahoma. 39 years after his death in 1971, Bill Pickett was inducted into the National Rodeo Hall of Fame. He was the first African-American to receive this honor. And in 1994, he was also honored by being selected to be featured on a postage stamp. Thank you. This has been One Mike Black History, and this was a story of Bill Pickett. 
If this is the type of content that you like, please hit the subscribe button. Also, you can find more content like this at onemichistory.com. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so at my Patreon page in the description below. Peace.